Gabby. We're here to tell you a little something about global marketing. If you want your company to grow internationally, and understanding this fundamental is critical to your success. In today's technology, people throughout the world are able to connect instantly in the buy and sell process. Today's world trade is driven by global competition among global companies for global consumers. Under the global marketplace, we will be covering a few key concepts. First, it is global competitions, the three types of global companies, example of global consumers, and the reason for emergence of the network global marketplace. First, for any marketplace, there has to be competition. In this instance, it's global. Before you understand the concept of global marketing, you must understand what global competition is really made of. Global competition exists when firms or native produce and market their products and service worldwide. This expands the marketplace for companies to buy and sell. Consumers around the world have the possibility of numerous choices. For example, the famous war fought in the U.S. between Coke and Pepsi have been carried around the world. Next, there are three distinct competitors in the global marketplace. They all use the same manpower for their activities. However, the type of marketing strategies they use define the type of marketing company they are. The three types of global companies are international, multinational, and transnational. First on the list is international companies. These companies market its existing products and services in other countries the same way it is done in its origin company. An example is Avon, who markets their product throughout the world in such places as South America and Europe, the same way they do in the U.S. Secondly, there are multinational firms. They view the world as consisting of unique products and consumers, so they market each of these differently. They employ the multi-domestic marketing strategy. This course of action means they have as many product variations, brand names, and advertising campaigns as they have countries they market in. For example, the popular product in the U.S. called Mr. Clean is called Mastro Limpio in Latin America and Mr. Proper in Europe. These products have different packages, different advertising programs, and sometimes even different formulas. Last on the list is transnational firms, which views the world as one marketplace and emphasizes common consumer needs across the world rather than their differences. They use a global marketing strategy, which is the practice of standardizing marketing activities when the cultures are the same and adapting them when cultures are different. Key examples of these companies are McDonald's and Gillette. They use a global brand, which is a brand marketed under the same name in different countries with similar and centrally coordinated marketing programs. However, adaption is sometimes necessary to better connect to consumers. At McDonald's, though, the famous fries are the same everywhere you go. When we market a product globally, we have to understand our consumers' needs and how our products can benefit them. This is why we have global consumers. It consists of consumer customers group living in many different countries who have similar needs or seek similar features and benefit from products or services. Consumers share a common needs and desire regardless of the geographic locations. Lastly, we have to finish covering the most important point in global marketing. The reason global marketing is so big because due to network global marketplace, it enables the exchange of goods, services, and information from companies anywhere to customers anywhere at any time at a lower cost. For example, you can be at New York on a business trip and still have the chances the chance to purchase something online at a different location. It makes shopping more convenient and less troublesome for a lot of consumers. Also in this way, companies can get to their consumers easier and quicker. That's global marketing. We hope you understand the importance of understanding the concept. Today's marketplace is expanding and you need to be ready.